Hello guys, today I would like to show you my way of printing an image for the canvas wrap. Programs I'm using are Lightroom, Photoshop and Canon Print Studio Pro plugin. So here we have an image and I have a print order to print 11 by 14 canvas. So uh, right now we're in the Lightroom and the very first step I'm going to do is crop the image to this specific size. So we go to develop module, we click on uh, crop tool and we select the aspect ratio that matches your canvas size. If you don't have it you can enter your own but I already have it, it's 11 by 14. Now I'm gonna reposition the image to my taste pretty much. Now once we crop the image we're gonna do a right click down here and go edit in Adobe Photoshop and this is important one you want to click the option where it says added a copy with Lightroom adjustments so now we're in Photoshop and pretty much we don't have to do anything here except for we're gonna click file automate Canon layout plugin for Print Studio Pro Now this is where the fun begins. So this is a dialog window for Canon plugin. Uh, we're gonna start from top and slowly move to the bottom. So first of all we're gonna pick a size that we want and so these sizes are I believe are standard that come with a plugin and for example the, see this one is a portrait we need a landscape so you can either pick the one you recently created or just add a canvas size and make your own. Now you're gonna pick canvas thickness and yeah, this is uh, should be a exact thickness of your side wall in my case it's 1.5 of an inch amount of extension is pretty much how much beyond the canvas size plus thickness size you want to print uh, in my case I know that I want to have a quarter inch now be aware that this is for each side so if you put quarter inch it will print the canvas actually half an inch larger okay uh, for some of you might need half an inch uh, whoever is wrapping the canvas all the way to the back that might be even more so find your uh, number and pretty much write it down now this is what I particular like about uh, Canon plugin is you can pick what goes to the wrap around area. So the standard and default is image but sometimes for example say your image goes really close to the edge and for example this guy's head would be so close to the edge that it would go around the edge which is not favorable. You can go with say my favorite is soft reflection so it will basically for the wrap around it will soften and reflect the image or reflect and soften if you will. You can do straight reflection like this which I did maybe once or twice. You can also do black, white, custom color if you want. So this is what I like most about it. Uh, very often I use soft reflection especially if my composition is really tight and I don't want two objects or say the center object to go around the edge. But in this case since we have a lot of useful background I'm just gonna click image so on the bottom you have this size and I suggest you take a pen and a notepad and you write it down because you'll need it later in a future step so our finished size is 17 and a half by 14 and a half inches at this point you double check all your settings and you click execute so now we are in a Canon Print Studio Pro plugin and uh, all the settings we're going to need are going to be on our right and we're just going to go first, second, third tab, uh, top to bottom. So we're going to pick a printer that we're going to use. In my case it's Pro 2000. We're going to pick a uh, media we're going to print on. Um, and paper size, now this is um, kind of crucial. Uh, so say if you're printing from a roll, my roll width is 24 inches wide and then um, Obviously I'm going to be printing with the wider side of the photo sideways um, and you basically want to make a height uh, as high as your photo plus say half an inch or an inch. So in my case it's going to be 24 by 15. Uh, you can make a custom 
uh, I already have it pre-made you can click custom here and basically make your own size now it's a roll paper um, you can select automa automatic cutting um, for color mode use ICC profile and use the profile of the media that you're gonna print on so this is mine Canon Artistic Set in Canvas um, now let's move to layout tab here we're gonna choose bordered and once we click this enlarge reduce printing we're gonna get a few more options they look confusing but actually it's pretty simple the only two numbers you have to put in is those that we were written down before so 17 and a half is the width and once I click my mouse on the next window it should auto populate the exact size we already have on a notepad so that's like a self check okay after this you can still see that the image is kind of not looking the way it is we go here to this little drop down menu and we switch to the roll paper view okay here we go so this is exactly how it's gonna look like by default your uh, image might be like this to the side um, and you can pretty much eyeball it and put it in the middle now this is exactly how it's gonna print out um, we're gonna click here in this little icon make sure we don't have any extension uh, this is pretty much for borderless printing uh, hit OK make sure this check mark is on hit OK and pretty much we're ready to print things to double check is these sizes has to match what you have written down in your notepad as output size in your previous plugin and once we hit the print button it's going to set it to the printer and print it exactly like this with a proper amount of extension now here's a little bonus I'm going to go back to Canon layout uh, print for Print Studio Pro and here you can actually add crop marks which are a lot of times useful especially if you're printing with say um, soft reflection because in that case you will have to position your canvas very precisely when you will be wrapping it around uh, the frame so these crop marks will help you and you will notice once we are added the crop marks your output size of the canvas will change and obviously you have now you have to write this one down uh, to use it in your next plugin so I hope that this video actually helped you guys and will make your workflow a little bit easier. Let me know what you think and feel free to share your way of printing uh, photos uh, for the canvases. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.